This video is on how to create a login on the Ministry of Corporate Affairs V3 portal and complete the digital signature registration process. The first step is to install the basic softwares required for this task in your computer or laptop. The second step is to install the digital signature drivers. Following these two steps are very important. If the required software and drivers are not installed properly, your laptop will not be able to read the digital signature pen drive. To begin, please open your Google Chrome web browser and type EMBridge download. Click the first link that appears on the search results. It will take you to a new page where EMBridge software can be downloaded. Scroll down and in the download section, click on Windows installer to download the software. After the downloading is complete, click on embridge.exe file and follow the steps shown in the video and complete the installation. After completing the installation, click finish and click on the windows search button and type embridge to open the installed application. Make sure that you are clicking on run as administrator to open the application. Once the embridge application is open, please make sure that the application is in running status. After that, Click on the hide button to keep the application running in the background. It is very important to keep this application running in the background for completing the DSA registration. After the Embridge software is installed, the next step is installation of digital signature drivers. Connect your digital signature pen drive to the USB port of your computer or laptop. After the pen drive is inserted, you will get a notification for installation of the digital signature driver. Click on the notification and follow the steps shown in the video to install the digital signature driver. After the installation is completed, you will get another notification stating your device is ready. Click on the finish button. This will complete the steps required for installation of software and drivers required for digital signature registration. Once done, click on the start button again and then click on the WD proxy key application and click on certificate to view your DAC details. After completing the installation of digital signature drivers, open your Google Chrome web browser and type www.mca.gov.in. After reaching the home page of Ministry of Corporate Affairs portal, click on the sign in sign up link appearing to the top right corner of the MCA portal. It will take you to the sign in sign up page. If you are creating login for the first time, you can click on the register button and move further. If you have created a login earlier and do not remember the password, you have the option to click on forgot password link and reset the password by entering the user ID, which is normally your email ID. After entering your email ID, if you get an error, please enter valid username. It means that your ID was never created earlier. And in this case, you will be required to proceed with the new registration using the register button, which was shown earlier in the video. After clicking the register button, you will be taken to a page where user details are required to be entered. Click the user category as business user, user role as director designated partner and enter your PAN number and DIN number. Once done, click next and you will reach the page where personal details are required to be entered. Enter your first name, middle name, last name, date of birth and gender as per the PAN details. If there is any mismatch in the entered data, it will display an error message with the details of the error. After the details are entered correctly, please click next and go to the registration page where details related to your personal address needs to be entered. Your email ID and mobile number will be auto prefilled based on the earlier inputs. And click on the next button. You will reach the last page where password needs to be set for your account. Pay attention to the requirements mentioned in the password policy and set the password accordingly. After entering the desired password, choose a hint question and hint answer carefully. Please note down your user ID, password, hint question and hint answer on a notepad and save it for future reference. These details will come handy whenever you wish to reset your password in future. After fulfilling all the requirements, click on create my account button and you will get a pop up to enter the OTPs sent separately on your mobile number and email ID. After entering the OTPs, click on submit button and wait for the confirmation stating your OTPs are successfully verified and that you are registered on the MCA portal as a business user. Click on OK and open your mailbox to check email from no reply at the rate mca.gov.in which confirms creation of user ID. Please note, while doing this step, you may face some common system validation errors like a user account already exists with DIN PPIN provided or a user account already exists with the email ID provided. 
such system validation errors are displayed only in cases where a user id already exists in the nca database and it may have been created by you earlier using your email id or pan number if you do not remember the details and want to recover them you can go back to the login page of the mca portal and click on forgot user id link if you do not remember your user id or click on the forgot password link if you remember your user id but do not remember the password follow the required steps to recover the details and login using the recovered credentials once done go back to the mca portal login page and enter your login credentials that is your user id and password then enter the captcha correctly and click on validate captcha button after the captcha is validated click on login for v3 filing button you will be again prompted to enter an otp which will be sent to your mobile number and email id enter the sms or email otp and click on the confirm button you will reach the post login my applications page of the mca portal make sure that your digital signature pen drive is inserted to the usb port and the em bridge signer is running in the background once done hover on the mca services tab and then on the fo services tab to click associate dac link it will take you to a new page where the portal will prompt you to download the dac drivers and em bridge software please do not redo this process as you have already done this in the steps shown earlier go ahead and click on associate dac button you will get a pop up to select your digital signature by clicking the token drop down button click on prox key v3.0 with your name mentioned select certificate details and enter the password provided to you if all steps are followed properly as shown in the video you will get a confirmation message that you have successfully registered your dac with then pan Take a screenshot of this message and share it with your account manager. This completes the DAC registration process on the MCAV3 portal. Thank you for watching the video.